I've been super waiting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. On me. <laughs> Um, hola, buenos dias, it's Nico. Um, I'm he That was louder than I expected it was gonna be. <laughs> I'm here today to talk about Mean Girl Syndrome. I had to think about it, because I'm, <clears throat> I'm recording these videos in like bulk right now because my clicker's blinking since I dropped it. <laughs> I hope it's not broken. Um, I'm talking about these, I'm, I'm mass recording these videos because I'm gonna be out of the country soon. So I wanna make sure everything is set and that I can just upload it. I don't know if I'll be able to upload it while I'm on the cruise because I don't think I'll have YouTube access with the internet bundle that I have. If not, I'm gonna upload it um, on Sunday before I go. I'm gonna upload it on Sunday so that it can be up for the week. So that's gonna be the only time that's gonna be like up on a Sunday rather than like, you know, on a normal Wednesday. Anyway, <clears throat> now that I've gotten that out of the way, Mean Girl Syndrome, which I feel like is a very prevalent thing that's happening in the community, you know? Everybody wants to be Regina Dorch. Hi, um, quick interjection. I'm actually um, on my way to the boat, to the boat, to the cruise, so that I can go to the Bahamas. And um, I just wanted to interject with, this conversation is actually gonna tie into what happened on Twitter. Twitter, um, a few days ago. It's gonna be a few days ago by the time I upload this. When um, I got dragged for saying that Grindr assisted in the destruction of dating with people. My thing is, I have, I'm completely open to discussions and I'm very chill, like most of you guys know this already. But at least watch the video. Please do not try to form an opinion on 30 seconds of an 8 minute video because the video on Twitter has over 120,000 views. While my video on YouTube only has like 500 at this point. So like, come on guys. We gotta, we gotta be informed. Come on. But other than that, attacking me based on my physical appearance because I didn't wear a shirt. It was laundry day. I understand most people won't believe that, but that's the tea. Um, I understand that a lot of people would prefer to rather have um, draggings and kiki and tea rather than actually having informed discussions. But yeah, enjoy. I feel like it's so tiring for someone to circle their personality around being mean and catty. First of all, you're not Regina George, you're pushing 30. Let's let's get on that. Like, let's, let's look at how it's a majority like older gay people who are trying to be mean girls? You're not Regina George. You're not. <laughs> what? It, what was that video from um, American Horror Story? Who want to be a pretty girl? Well, you're not a pretty girl. Yeah, that way. <laughs> so, I don't understand why you're purposely trying to be mean to people. Like, what do you get out of that? I mean, I look at it like when Gabrielle Union said. I was just very insecure. I would look at her and I would tear her down to circle it back on me. And one of my friends dragged me aside. I am paraphrasing. I am paraphrasing so much. One of my friends dragged me aside and said, what did you gain from that? You just gave, you just empowered that woman by speaking about her. A lot of Twitter gays, you, you guys need to work on um, not being mean girls or trying to be mean girls because most of the time, Y'all ain't got a pot to piss in, and that's me saying saying it humbly. Like, it's always the most generic twink that tries to tear other people down. Like, it's very, it's so common that it, it annoys me. I, I'll just be, like, scrolling through my feed, and someone is just being mean. Like, just being nasty for no reason. And I'm just like, why? W what are you getting out of this? And their followers just like, yes, queen, read them. Read this innocent bystander who simply posted a picture in their new outfit saying that it's cute. What looks for served? I don't see anything. It's, why? What, what in you makes you see someone else being happy with themselves and think, oh, I have to tear them down? Because I don't, I don't believe in that, oh, it's just jealousy. I believe that it's something inside someone. If you can't look at somebody and be happy that they're happy, someone you don't even know. If you look at someone being happy and you get negative, you have to sit back and look at yourself and say, 
why am I like this? Why do I feel this way? What did this person do to me? Because I've been in a situation where I'll say if I don't like somebody's outfit, I won't say it. If somebody asks me their opinion on, it, on their outfit, I'll be like, oh, well, I don't personally like it, but if you're comfortable, if you like it, that's up to you. That, you know, that's your outfit, that's your body. You, you wear what you wanna wear. But if you are adding your unnecessary tidbit to it, why? No one asked you. No, what, you, you're just going out of your way to be mean to someone and it's not necessary. It's not, like you don't, you don't look cool when you tear people down for no reason. If someone had it coming, sure. You know, if someone was being nasty and rude to everybody else and you drag them down, you know, knock them down a few pegs, do you, I understand that. But attacking innocent people that are just like, I really like my outfit today, what's so great about it? I'm sorry, I don't usually curse, I usually bleep it out, but bitch, what's so great about you? Or like, what's so great about you that you feel that you can tear this person down for just enjoying themselves? Like, it's just so much negativity. And I try to mute, block, unfollow anybody that is unnecessarily negative. Like, what are you getting out of this? Other than feeling, <laughs> I got them. <laughs> We're not doing that because we don't put negativity in the universe. But yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's just you don't have a pot to piss in. Stop attacking people for no reason. Like, I'm not even talking about on my post, because people be coming on my post and talking to be crazy. I'll just be like, oh, I'm feeling myself today. Oh, he on steroids. Oh, he don't look that good. Your body needs work. Why? What did you get out of this? Because I still feel pretty good about myself. Like, my thing is, my social, my, <laughs> my social, my self-esteem is at a constant low until somebody tries me. Like, it, it's at a constant low until I'm like, oh, you're not going to talk to me like that. Like, that kind of thing. <laughs> so when I make a post like, oh, I'm feeling like shit, my body is more for you acting up, I genuinely mean it. Like, sometimes I can't even look at myself in the mirror. And it, it, it when I first started YouTube a month ago, like, things have really changed. I was so... I was so self-conscious. I still am. I still am to a degree since I've only been doing this for like a month, but I've gotten more comfortable and can speak to you guys like I'm talking to you face to face, if that makes sense. But my self-esteem wasn't that high. I mean, it's not naturally super high, but if somebody tries me, I will tell them, no, I'm the, I'm the best thing since sliced bread. Like I feel like everybody should have a bit of humbleness, but still no, <laughs> huh? <laughs> I ran out of spit. <laughs> I feel like everybody should have humbleness, but still know their worth. Like you don't have to take people's BS just to say that you're humble. No, if somebody tries you, feel free to tell them, hey, back off. Because it's just, the gays get on my nerve with that. It's like, there's no need, you know, it's, it's harder to be negative than it is to be positive. That's all I want to say. That's what I want to leave off on. Because I feel like there's something broken inside if you look at someone who is minding their business and being happy and going, what you so happy for? You need to fix something in yourself. And this goes out to all you little twinks that try people for no reason. Like, let people live their lives. Because y'all be having the most generic hot topic forever 21 looking, looking ass closet. And you be trying people. Just because you skinny and got abs. Get out of my face. Think that I, I don't you <laughs> I'm not upset, but I'm annoyed. Like it's just so often that I see people just tearing other people down for no reason other than to say, I'm a mean girl. You're a man. You're not a girl, bitch. <laughs> you're a <laughs> you're a man. Leave these people alone. You're a grown man at that. Leave these people alone. Anybody above 23, 24, you're a grown ass man. Stop trying to attack people for no reason. Get a life. Suck a dick. Get a husband. Do something. Girl. <laughs> All right, that's, that's the end of this video. Fine. It's still. Clicker.